popping straight into the art program today instead of going to the chatting page. I need to do some shit. Oh god, I've been procrastinating. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't planned out anything aside from my gestures that I already did during the week. But I do have a reference video of me dragging myself across the fucking floor. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me completely forget how to do time sheets. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look on teams like a bunch probably. That's the long brush. Boink. Yeah, I haven't found out shit, so <laughs> Moments so of things that might freeze up. I ignored the team's group over the weekend. That might be the for the best. I don't know why my eyes are closing. That's fine though. Meanwhile, my can I adjust my pen size, please? Everything is lagging. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Everything is bad. Mm, I, don't, I don't know what I want to do from a perspective. I have like... Uh, I don't know if you've seen it at all, but I... <laughs> um, my storyboard. Um, I chose C word. There's this is dragging himself out of the water, which is probably like the worst idea. Because it means I have to deal with perspective. <laughs> I don't know why I did that in the animation way. I have not touched TV paint in so long. <laughs> oh no. Uh, layer. Uh, layer. Background layer. That's what I want. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I feel like I have to do something so that I'm being productive. It's gonna be so rough. Uh, fuck perspective. Oh, amazing, good luck with that. I chose a simple half body sequence, but I need to record my ref more refs tomorrow. Yeah. I, I got references, so hopefully I'll cope. But I also stream too, because I'm one more stream away from affiliate. Ooh. Ooh! Hey, good luck with that. That's nice. <laughs> um, I, I, I got an affiliate during my birthday stream, so it was a really weird. Like, oh cool, birthday present, because a bunch of people raided me on it. So it was like, oh shit, okay, I somehow went from having zero viewers, basically, to having a bunch. Okay, hi, hello, which was interesting. Um, oh my god, my, my tablet's having a fucking seizure, apparently. That's great. So nice to see you. <laughs> yeah, it was quite nice. Um, it was a weird one. Why have... Why do I have it set like this? What did I do? Oh, it's because it's automatically... Why is it doing that? That's weird. Okay. I don't appreciate that. Um... Hmm. I don't know why it's doing it. Well, anyway. I don't remember anything. Oh my god, I haven't touched this in so long. <laughs> um, it's doing that. That's so weird. Um, tablet settings. I need to check those, I guess. Oh my god, open. <laughs> it might be glitched. It does this sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't... No, I don't know why it's doing that. That's great. Is there a particular reason? <laughs> um, hmm. I really don't want to connect, disconnect my tablet and reconnect it because that's going to mean that I'll both have to reorganize everything and also that TV paint, TV paint is going to freeze on me. 
Oh wait, it's because I was in line, that's why. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> um, great. <laughs> Fix my brush again. That's great. <laughs> I have like a super awkward setup at the moment because I'm... I got stuck at my parents' house. So I don't have a desk now. <laughs> Um, which does not help my productivity at all. So I have everything on my lap, <laughs> balanced, precariously, as we do it. Um, okay. That's good enough for now, probably? Actually, no, it's not. No, I hate it. I hate everything about that perspective. Wait, why did I do it like that? No. Um, doink, 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 doink. Yeah, I got stuck on my parents too. Luckily I have a desk, but it's so lovely my chair just back bones. Oof. I technically have a desk, but um my parents moved around my room while I was gone. And so now there isn't room for a chair. And also the entire desk is messy, but it was already like that before I left. But yeah, I can't really use it. Even if I did clear it off. I... I don't remember how to prospect a grid. Uh, what's that little thing up here? Guidelines. Um, <laughs> Let's do that. Um, like 10% or something. That's good. Hmm. I need to actually look at the fucking storyboard. I depends on my perspective. Yeah, I usually don't do perspective grids, so. <laughs> um, but I need to actually look at my storyboard. For one point, you can smack out a single point and drag lines out from it. Yeah, it's two point. I think kind of. It it's whack. <laughs> it's it's just whack. Perspective is whack. Perspective is always whack. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna find my. Uh, where's the scene? There you are. So I can get the actual. Maybe a bit lower from there. Oh, two point is fun but hard. Yeah. Because basically, like. Um, fuck, I did it on the main layer again. I hate it here. <laughs> He was getting sassy with me by, by saying, um, what's done is done. It's like, oh. <laughs> why? Um, okay. This one probably? Yeah, um, yeah, because basically, like, oh god, oh god, what is it doing? Stop that. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. That's not great. Um, mm -hmm. out. Nope, that doesn't help. Please, calm down. <laughs> it's because I've got the grid up, huh? Um, mm -hmm. I want... Where is it? There we go. Yeah, it was because of the grid. <laughs> but yeah, um, if I do you know what I mean, it's like out like that. So like, I don't know. It, I guess it is one point perspective, but it's really awkward because it's a character. So he's like, eh. But like higher up, I'm just doing it really badly. <laughs> uh, let me make that bigger. I need to be careful not to shake my lap desk. Um, oh yeah, I just finished the perspective thing. Probably. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. So you should point always on the horizon line too. Yeah. I could do that. Or I could just haphazardly draw lines out and hope for the best because I'm not going to look at it. I think. I think. No. 
That's what I do to be fair. Yeah, I don't use perspective grids. I'm just doing this so I don't get told off. <laughs> so I'm already making things hard enough for myself. Most of it's perspective, so it's second nature to me now. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the same with me for the most part, but. I just don't want to get told off. I'm just five. This is really bad. But, oh well. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Whatever. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna use the main thing and just be like, that's fine. Um, let's see. Uh, I have my gesture drawing thingies with the poses. I don't know if you know, but if you will shift the light, it will be perfectly straight. Yeah, I know. It's, um, I have a very awkward setup where I can't see my keyboard. <laughs> At least with the line tool. Yeah. I know, I know. But I can't see my keyboard. And also shift, um, can trigger some of my model animations, so I don't want to accidentally trigger it and then have to look over, like, to try and turn it off again. <laughs> so I do that. Oh, no, that's tragic. Yeah, it's, it's literally the only way I can set this up where my model won't spaz out and I can actually draw somewhat. It works, but... Um, okay. But I need my reference now. <laughs> so I've been told that I need to draw all of the... Um, yeah, that's a good brush. Um, I need to draw all of the anatomy to make sure I know what's up, apparently. So I guess I'll go through my reference real quick, find the right pose I want. Hello, hello! Hello, hello. Hi, Koro. Um, <laughs> Needs to be further away. Um, <laughs> yeah, I might get quiet while I'm trying to do this because <laughs> I'm thinking. I just woke up. Well. Well, good morning to you, I guess. I don't know if it's from a nap or just like straight up or what, but um, I'm gonna say good morning anyway. <laughs> See, um... Switch on white table. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, really badly drawn hand, it's fine. Oh good, 4 p.m. It's basically the good morning to me. Oh, been there, done that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've only recently somewhat fixed my sleep schedule, and it's already starting to like get later again. Not as badly though. Um. <laughs> That's probably fine. I'm gonna figure out the timing later, I'm just... <laughs> to get the base keyframe sort of vague-ish things in. And then figure out everything else.
Animal Crossing in the background, or Animal Crossing music in the background even, because I don't care. It's very hard to fix sound, it's less cool pose. Yeah, but it's helper animation. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is going to be my personal hell for the next two weeks. By my own doing, of course. Hopefully, this will turn out cool. Um, despite all. How did Gonzalo let you do this? <laughs> okay, basically, um, he, he had to... <laughs> good question, actually. I don't... I honestly expected, um, because he had to ask... Was it Sharon or Susan? I don't actually remember who it was he was asking. But he had to ask specifically for me, and basically they made an agreement... Um, but literally the only reason that they're letting me do it is because I designed the character so I already know the character well. <laughs> That's literally the only reason um, that they even considered it. But the compromise is um, basically just in case I have trouble finishing it, I have to map out the entirety of the anatomy and animate the anatomy itself and then animate the character over it basically if I have the time. That's essentially. Yeah, it's an artist's great strength, making their own personal hell. Yeah, except this is the personal hell of the deadline. <laughs> but yeah, that's li literally the only reason that they let me do this. Um, I honestly don't know why they did. <laughs> but, you know, what's done is done, and I'm stubborn enough to do it, I think. God only knows. Oh, they did that with someone from our group too because they were being uh, aggressively adamant. Yeah, I was like, oh, I could do this with both like the flower sack and the character. And then they were just like, oh, the character, you say? Just like, yes, if I can, if I'm allowed to. We'll see. And then they did, which is like the greatest mistake. I need to move this up. I might, I might have to reset. TV paint because um, my tablet is like flickering a lot and I don't like that. Yeah, like I didn't even like intensely argue to do it. They were just kind of like, yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. I'll work- I'll figure out the tail and shit later. I also just realized this is flipped. So I need to flip this the other way. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I love that for me. <coughs> I'll figure that out. I'll just put it the right way. I don't know why the video is flipped, but cool. Great. Wonderful. Um, that's probably my bad for reference. That's fine, I flip it. <laughs> I think anyway, I think I can flip it. Right? I'll find the flip tool. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they let me do this, but I'm doing it now, I guess. Hmm, I don't know how the leg is there. I have to check my little thing. Yeah, especially because I have facial animation in it, so I don't... I don't know why they let me do this. Hmm. 
No, I have not to get that yet. How's that look so far? Okay, that's not horrendous. It's decent enough for now. I can figure this out. This is what I meant with the accidental. <laughs> My character choice was simple enough so I had no trouble. I'm just glad I didn't have to do any of <laughs> have to do any of the group's characters again. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna try and get my tablet to stop flickering. So I can actually work in peace. And then probably have to reload TV Paint because TV Paint is like that. <laughs> Unless they fixed it at some point. Uh. Mm. <laughs> to name the file, just animation. Yeah, I fully expect this entire thing to break real quick. Because that's just how TV Paint is. Oh. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, okay. I probably should have just closed TV Paint first. That might be an idea. Um. <laughs> My whole thing with TV Paint isn't even the program itself, it's just this glitch that I get every time. I, um, interrupt it, I guess. Um, where is it? Task manager, please. Where is it? Uh, uh, uh. It's killing my CPU. That's nice. Um, appreciate that. Where are you? Please okay. <laughs> Who does this? Where is it? <coughs> oh my god, where is it? <laughs> what? Oh, please. I just want to close the program. Can't find it. Cause why would I? <laughs> God damn it! There you are. Jesus. Okay. My God, that took too long to find in Task Manager. God. Okay. I have to reload that. Woo. Brilliant. Um, okay, no. I can do it like that. <laughs> That's my biggest problem with TV paint, is it just kills itself. If I disconnect the tablet in any way, or if the screen shuts off, basically. Which it does when I disconnect the tablet. Because, of course. Oh, okay. Load. Open. But my tablet isn't flickering now, so that's nice. Um, where are you? There you are. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay, so I need something in between there. Do move arm. I'm not okay, it literally just plunks <laughs> out. I wish I could show like the reference animation I had, but because 
I'm using the same Twitch as my VTuber stuff, like, I'm not gonna show myself. But it's kind of funny looking. Lonk it forward. Hmm. So. Yeah, maybe I'll send in Discord at some point if people start sharing the references because it's kind of funny. It's like, I don't really know if I want to maybe do VTubing or webcam online or two faces. You could do like a mix of both or like PNG if you want. I mean, there's different ways to do it. Uh, it's not moving well. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's up to you, really. But you, you can do a mix of both if you want to. Some people do that. Hand. If I move it in the reference, I move it so quickly, I just kind of plonk it. <laughs> I don't know if it's foreshortened it properly. Hmm. You can move it up. Actually looks like I'm lifting it. Or like he's lifting it. <laughs> I love that the um <laughs> Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing thing is already coming out. Animal Crossing music is here to keep me sane. <laughs> Just calm down. I will figure out the exact anatomy later. <laughs> Most generators help too, especially with music. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Just something to keep me from actually going insane. It's very much preferable. Oh, that looks pretty good. Well, maybe I might make him a bit too big all of a sudden there. Yeah, I think I do. Hmm. That's slightly smaller. Yeah, this me looks... That one was kind of weird. I don't appreciate it after my stream last night. Has weird, um, well, not weird, but um, creepy sounds, Ryan. <laughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> What's this? <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep all the lag noise too suddenly. Yeah, right, um. So drag it behind here. 
and then come forward here. Yeah, um, and do something. He'll he sure will do something. Okay. I think that's good enough for a start. Um, I do need to flip it though. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's flip it. I'll figure it out. Uh, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Open Act. No, that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Oh, what? No, I'm just gonna do this and see if I can find something. Is it? No. Um. Don't know why I thought that would help. That's not it. That, neither of that is it. How the hell did I flip this? That is, um, just do it like this. Maybe. Oh, no, not that. Not that. Hold on. That's not what I want. That is not at all what I want. <laughs> um. Hmm. Nope, that doesn't work. I don't know how to do this. Um. Oh. No, that doesn't. It flips it, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> um. Oh, there we go. Hey -o. That does feel bigger though. That's why it's bigger. Yeah, that's definitely bigger. Why does it go bigger? There we go. That's what I want. Because <laughs> I think what I think what is is that um yeah I've got the right limbs except he turned like the other way but that's really really awkward so I'm just gonna flip it outright <laughs> that's what it was. Hopefully that'll look less awkward. Because he has to look up in the left direction, this way. It's really awkward doing that when he's turned this way. Unless... If I... <laughs> Looks like he's dancing there. Um, hmm. Unless I... I do that. I guess I could do that. 
Actually, yeah, I could do that quite easily. Yeah, let's just do that. That way it won't look super weird. down. No, that way it doesn't look too weird. It's the opposite way to the way my video of myself goes. But I'm gonna skedaddle and work on some stuff. Good luck with the project. Thank you. Good luck on your stuff as well. Good oh boy. <laughs> you just go right up, maybe? Hmm. <coughs> I think I need to shrink his head. Yeah, okay. And smaller than As we progress to ears. It's just because um, I have a little bit of character. Now his head is too small. Damn it. It's because, um, yeah, I have a little bit of animation for that, which it doesn't really matter for before it, but uh, here it does kind of apply because it's like the big change in the next frame. <laughs> okay. Gotta get in there. I'm not gonna bother worrying about the face shape. I can worry about that later. He is a circle. That's it. That's all we need. I'll figure out the timing after. I'll work out any kinks in the timing because I have not planned the timing out at all so I'll work that out after I get these little thumbnails in. Face shapes never been in existence. I found face shapes is just kind of difficult and probably not the best thing to try and figure out at this point. <laughs> so I need to work out like the main movement I guess. Or anything else. Just trying to get that. Everything else doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see how the timing is, and we can work on that now. <coughs> Oops. That's still not being reflect. Okay, I guess I forgot that. that back. And now it's over here. That's great. That's fine though. There we go. Um, your selection. Right. What's this? That's actually not too bad timing wise. Actually. I did just realize though that I am not on the correct time. Um, <laughs> what, for some reason I had it set 10 frames per second. I need to be at 25 frames per second, which is a big difference. Um, that's not what I want to look at. I want um, preferences? No, that's the same thing I was just in. Um, 
I need everything to change to certified frames per second, so... What the fuck is it? Uh, project. Modify project. Um, frame rate, 25 frames per second. Uh. <coughs> mm -hmm. new size. Yes. Okay. Um. Do I need to close this, this version? This bad version. Close. And save this in the, in the place of that one. Replace it. Yes, overwrite it. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Working things out. Okay. Close that as well. Oh, that's it. Just clean up. Okay. <coughs> that's better. That's not too bad. Um, hmm. I need there to be bigger time here. I think. Or not, no. Um. Oh, uh, I think I figured out what I need there. I need a frame of him reaching out. That's what I need. Oops, that's not what I want. Oh, I wanna move. I wanna move the whole thing. There we go. No. That's all I want. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. Back to my reference. I'm scrolling through my gallery so much at the moment. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm lucky that my phone has charge. Uh, start there. Do -do. really really shit <laughs> oh no um hmm. I don't lag on me here um hmm I will work out the actual anatomy later but I just want to have like a decent No, uh, that is fine there. Pretty okay, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> I actually, I kind of thought it was a bit off in the perspective, but I actually kind of like that. Um, when he's that far in the distance, I think that's pretty cool looking. So, I'm from here. 
Too much. Just make sure that grip. Yeah. Like right, that. Yeah, I think that has pretty good weight to it, actually. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah, it actually looks like he's putting his weight on it, so that's pretty good, I think. Timing sheets, and then we're gonna figure this shit out. <laughs> uh, make that a bit longer. What is it? How long is this actually so far? Um, right. One second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. I need it to be about five seconds. It's a little bit short of six seconds. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Six seconds? That's good. That's as close to five seconds as I'm gonna get it properly with good timing. Why am I crying again? <laughs> That's very good so far. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is very, very scuffed, but I'm glad it's... Actually, this is a good start, so I'm glad on that. That's the timing. I think I need a little bit longer here. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. That's how I want it. I've been getting pain in my abdomen all day, and I don't know why, I'm just like... <sighs> I really don't know what it is. It's, it's not on my right, so it's not appendicitis or anything. <laughs> Probably, anyway. It's, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It's like, it's really bugging me at the moment. It was only like, really slight earlier, but now it's actually like, coming on, and I don't know what it is. And I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> Um, right, let's see. Um, this is one. What time is this? Uh, 15. So, 10 to 15. I'll figure out the exact timings after. I'm just gonna get the things. That's 24. Uh, -huh. uh, 24 to... Is this one 48? Let's see if I can remember how to do timesheets. Um, oh, that's their mine. Okay, uh, 48 to... Uh, that's 58, okay. Ow, ow, ow. Why is it making me that pain? <laughs> uh, 58 to 66. This is probably gonna be the longest animation I've done. I should know. What hurts? I got a bit of noise on my hands, so it hurts to hear, so it's hard to hear sometimes. Oh, my uh, abdomen. I'm not sure why. I don't know what it is in my abdomen, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's like pre-pooed crabs or something, but... Uh, it's <laughs> kind of bad, actually. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. Uh, 66 to... 81? I'm sure it's fine. Um... 
It's not on my right side, so it's probably not appendicitis. Which should be a concerning thing. I just realized it's on the wrong thing. Okay, so just merge that layer in. Um, 81, 2, 93. That pays up. Could be a gas crime or something. Yeah, it could be. It's weird though, because I've had it all day. Or not all day, but like it's been coming on slowly all day, and now it's just kind of really hitting. It's like, um, okay, can you not do that? I have stuff to do, thanks. <laughs> um, it's not bad enough to stop me from working. It's just kind of like, oh, that hurty. Why that do that? Uh, 92121. I don't know if I should be doing timesheets on these ones, but whatever. Yeah, it's fine. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1,
six, six seconds. So that's fine. It's gonna be a bit of a pain. I was kind of hoping to keep it to five seconds, but whatever. So it's gonna be some pause frames, so that should be fine. <laughs> just to make it a bit easier on myself. I'll leave some frames where it's just not moving. Okay, so... Hmm. Two. We want the... Um, in between, the main in between, we want to be probably somewhere later. Um, so... Ten? Do you want it to be ten, maybe? Yeah, probably ten will do. Um, God, how do you set out timesheets again? Oh, I don't know if I want to. probably... Yeah. 10, 12... Wait, this, this is frame zero. I just realized. Oh, okay. Duh. <laughs> I can't do math, apparently. <coughs> I was wondering why that was kind of weird. Um, yeah, so. Like that, I guess? I think that's how you do timesheets. <laughs> it's been a while. I wasn't that amazing at it when we did do it. <laughs> uh. 14 to 24. It's not all that much in between. So we'll just go straight. Hmm. Actually, the middle frame is like 19, so. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Let me check. But she's in my phone, so I'll just make it easier. Um, okay. Do, do. Right, where do I want to go in between here? 20 or 18? I'll go 20. Um, for the main in between. Good. Um. I'm really struggling to remember how to do time sheets right now. I'm just like, is this right? Is this how you set them out? <coughs> mm -hmm. I want the main notion to be further ahead there, I think. Twenty-four to forty-eight, which is a pretty big jump. I probably should have a frame in between here, actually. Um, just to make it a little bit easier. The brain can't comprehend how she's at all. <laughs> Understandable. Um, I think the whole thing is it's supposed to be like, I mean, these are your frames so you have to get to here, um, or in between. Like, you put all your in-betweens here, and like, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm still very much figuring them out, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> we want the weight dragging behind quite a bit, so... I put an in between motion at 38 here. So if I do one here to here? Yeah, I'll just do one real quick here. That'll just save me a little bit. 
of um, working out the time sheets. So I just put one here. Really quick already. It's not going to be too big a change. As long as I actually have a flag right. <laughs> Let's just be quick in between just to save myself some pain. So I mate here and then go to 48. Which is much more manageable. So put that to 38 now. Okay. Right. What do we want? Our in between here. Probably. Yeah, I would say 32. Yeah, let's go 32. Um, hmm. So put that there, I think. And we have 34. And then. Six in between there. Because that's how numbers work. <laughs> Six sucks. And before that, we won't have too much people. Yeah, it's not. So it's going to be quite slow. Yeah, I've written that wrong, I think. Yeah, I've written that completely wrong for what I want to do. Um, I want 32 here, 34, 36, and then I want, um, not that big a line, um, <laughs> that's not what I want, um, 26, 26, 28, 30, then, yeah, so it'll be slow running in and then a big pull into it. Once again there. So we're dragging behind, so okay, why am I bushing? I swear to god, I'm not Oh I know. I think I know anyway. Do I know? I think I'm clicking it. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Um, right, so in between 30 and 48, um, we have temporary in here. 42 or 44. We want it to be kind of even here, I think. So we'll say 44, 42 will be equal importance. Or, no, nah, 44 will be more important, but 42 will be... So this one we want kind of more smooth. 44 here, 42... I'm slowly remembering how to do this. <laughs> 42, 40... Um, and... 46. Which is fairly even. That's a little bit, yeah. Um, right. 48 to 58 in the ten frames. But we want this one to be much more weighted, so in between here will be at 56, I guess, the main in between. Yeah, so we want it to be very. Right number. I can't. <laughs> I can't count apparently. Okay, 
So that looks so pretty. Pretty too. Fifty-four, and then this big old fifty-six here. That's not big enough compared to the other letters. Fifty-six here. <laughs> there we go. Um, to explain time sheets, okay. I think I've sort of figured out how to explain it a bit better. Um, basically. So you have your two points that you want to in between, um, your two keyframes. Um, so your main in between, which is the one that whoever's in betweening, which in this case is me still, um, will be taking is the one that you make the biggest, um, and everything else is sort of you go in order of importance in terms of size. Um, I'm struggling to write it smaller, so I'm just kind of doing it closer to the timeline if it's less important. Um, yeah, so you like go up in size and then down. Um, and to show the timing, you, you basically you decide where along the line that you want to put the timing um, to sort of show how far the in between should be going. Um, so if you want something to be slower, you'll put your main in between closer towards your next keyframe and everything else will slowly lead up to it, basically. <laughs> um, so to make something faster, you, you put in less keyframes to make something slower, you put in more. It's basically the same thing, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, that's my um barely comprehending it animation student explanation. <laughs> There's definitely people who can explain it better, but that's my understanding of it. Um, it it just tells you or the in-betweener um what you want, basically. <laughs> um so tell me later how I'm gonna prioritize my keyframes. Um what these are. <laughs> um, so, 50, 58 to 66. Okay. Um, what time do we want here? Um, we're sort of lur lurching forward, I guess. So, I think here we want the keyframe. Or we want the in-betweens to go faster, I think? Maybe faster. Oh, hmm. Maybe 52. Just a bit, not too much, though. We kind of want... To just, uh, so, I think 52 is what we want. Um, oh wait, we've already done that. Wait, never mind. <laughs> it's this one. Um, this one's the one I mean. Um, yeah, we want, so we want this to go forward. And we only have three frames for that, so... 62 or 60... Or 64. 62 in the middle, um... Hmm. Um, I kind of want it to be a little bit... Like he stumbles a bit. So I think the main keyframe will be... Yeah, I think we want 64. So yeah, basically when you're in-betweening, um, you go in-between all the lines you have. Although you can, you have like artistic interpretation as well, so you can make it a bit more interesting. Um, it'll be like the, the biggest priority keyframe, the big one here. Um, that'll be like the one that you do first, um, that'll be the first in between to happen. Um, so to be in between the lines that are already existing, then you'll, and in this case you'll go back to 
I would want it to go back to 54 next. Um, just probably should have. There we go. Um, so you want it to go to 54 next. So you do the keyframe here, and then in, in between 56 and 48, and then you go back again to 52. Do in between 54 and 48, and then you go back to 50 and do in between. 52 and 48. Um, so basically, you end up controlling the amount of movement you have. Of course, um, if it's limited animation, you sometimes just won't have any frames. You just hold a frame sometimes. Which you do in like uh, this sort of animation as well. So I'll probably have um, held keyframes somewhere along the line here. <laughs> somewhere here. Probably around here I'll probably be holding it a lot more, but for now we want pretty constant. Well we don't want constant movement or to look like constant movement, but you know. Um okay so six two six four to this side. I think I did. Um but I think i I'm gonna go with uh sixty four Keep keyframe, the big boy, this four, 62, 62, 60. Mm. 60. I'm being picky because I know I'm gonna get um, nitpicks on my <laughs> um, time sheets in a minute. It's not in a minute, but when I show this, I know I'm gonna get some nitpicks. <laughs> Probably, anyway. <coughs> so I'm trying to be careful about it. The last time I did timesheets, I got nitpicked on it a lot. <laughs> so they were like, that's not how you do it. I was like, okay, is it not? I thought it was, but okay. I think this is right. So, let's see here. So we want this to be a lot slower. So we'll put keyframe at 70 here. Or not keyframe, but the main in between, you know. Whatever. <laughs> the thing I've been talking about. That's not 70, that's 20. Why am I forgetting my numbers? I'm leaving you, thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to do it as best I can. So I need to go along with that first. So I'm probably going to be streaming this as much as possible so that I can actually get through it. Because otherwise I'll put it off. Which is the last thing I want with something this complex. <coughs> so today I'm just going to work out the timing. Will stream this tomorrow? I don't know. I'm playing Undertale tomorrow evening. But I might stream it during the day, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um... But I'm gonna try and get as much done timing wise today so that I can work out like the anatomy stuff. Um next week, mostly. And maybe get to cleaning up as well. I mean if I work on it like three three hours a day or something. <laughs> I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to get it done then. If I do it like that. Uh, 70 70 here. Hmm. That might make it a bit fast, actually. Actually, I think we might want it in the middle instead. We might want it at 72, actually. Yeah, put the keyframe at, not keyframe, the in between, 72, 72, um, 68. And then Monday I can't stream because I have D&D that evening. Well, maybe I'll try and get it in the day? I don't know. Depends when my meetings and stuff are, I guess. Uh, 72, 74? 70, 
six. I can't fucking count, apparently. Um, seventy-eight. <coughs> Fairly logical, but whatever. It's fine. Right. Yeah, so then, my movement would be here. Yeah, then. That should be fairly slow, I think. Um, I'll probably end up taking out frames and stuff later, trying to fix the timing. Because <laughs> I'll be like, mm, that's not right. I don't like that anymore. Then we want uh, eight, 80 to 92. Okay. Um, so we want this to definitely be quite slow. So we'll put 86 as the main in between right in the middle I guess six yeah because I don't want it to be too fast but I don't want it to be too slow either it should be quite even here I think <coughs> um yeah so a six No, that's not. D4. Or there, even. 84. 82. 88. 90. My number is straight, apparently. This is turned into, I guess. But. Just in the last few now, I guess. Okay. No. This one's quite big too, actually. I might put. That's a. Um, hmm, I want to fix that. Just. <laughs> uh, Re adjust myself. Okay, um. Here, maybe? No, you know what? I'll just do the in betweens. I'll make. And maybe? 110? Yeah, I'll put 110 there. 10. Does not leave a lot of room. I'm gonna zoom in. <laughs> I need to extend that line. <laughs> There's no way. Um, I cannot fit all of these keyframes in. Just why I should probably just. Maybe I really sh maybe I should just put in another keyframe there. Hmm. I don't know, there's like no major movement there. Hmm. Or if I maybe signify I'm holding a frame. Maybe we just <laughs> Just make a new frame there. This like, same one says like held here. So many frames. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So many. Boy oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna hold a frame here. I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna change that to That's where we held the frame to. So it's not going to be any in betweens there. And now it's going to be 108. 
to 120, and there's going to be keyframes in between here. Waha! Figured it out. I guess just show no keyframes in there. Okay. And now I'll at least lighten my load slightly as well by holding that frame. Um, so just in between here. Mm -hmm. want me to slowly look up. So, oh, 16. Mm, 114. Let's just say 114. And then. Okay, no, don't do that. Please, thanks. I don't know. What the hell? There's a lag to my. Can you bring back my numbers, please? Thanks. No! Why are you doing that? Stop that. Sixteen, then hundred and eighteen. I can count. I know how numbers go. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Um, um. Sorry, this is like a really boring part because I'm just trying to work out my in betweens <laughs> in my timesheet for moving on. I've been at this for like I don't even know how long. Probably like the past twenty minutes or something. <laughs> um. Trying to figure this part out. Okay, so then we have 120. So that's 121. Why is that 121? Move back. Okay, now, we, now we're on the right frames. <laughs> now we should progress in like a huge thing to deal with. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. It's just kind of different from what I'm used to. So you, I normally use Clip Studio Paint. And I'm kind of used to, or was kind of used to the animation function in that, and then I had to relearn this for university. So, that's fun. My butt hurts. <laughs> um. We want this to be really slow. So, 134 maybe? And then everything before it will be like super slow. Actually, wait. Mm, hold on. So I want to hold him in the frame here. I think yes. Just to save myself a little bit. So I'm gonna make a new frame there. Red Maddie's tail on. Yeah, uh, it's long. It's long since deceased. <laughs> My tailbone has been suffering for years, so it's nothing new. Mm. Considering I probably broke it when I was like nine, um, yeah, I mean, it's. <laughs> it has suffered. Okay, so nothing in here. Just kind of pause and then slowly look up. 
in full dread. <coughs> so then in here, we want which we want. Uh I want it to be fairly even, so yeah. We'll put uh 136 and 138 and 134 and 132. So it's fairly evenly paced. Um don't think we could get rid of tailbones for good since they don't really do anything. Yeah, they just kinda hurt. I think. I think it'll just kind of be frozen here. Which saves me some pain. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. I mean, I don't know what we're trying to see because we can't see it yet. But... Um, yeah, that seems. Okay, I think. Okay. I've got another while for this. I think. I don't know how long I'm gonna go for. Probably until midnight or so. Why is my model lagging so much? Why do you have to school clothes and everything? I'm just gonna close the sweet paint while I'm at it. Pause, please. Oh. oh, so I can pause this. Get rid of this. Oh! Thank you for reading, Archer Louise. Hello, hello. Um, we're doing this suffering. Um, <laughs> I guess go down the chat now. There we go. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, Oh, thank you for following as well. Um, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, I've just finished um, figuring out my in-betweens, so you've missed the most boring part probably, although most of this is probably not going to be the most exciting, but hey, whatever. When my thing is off right now, that's not what I want. Um, where's my thing? That's not what I want either. I don't know. Where's my hand? Where's the hand? That's right there. I'm dumb. I haven't used this in a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. It's a difficult animation, which I, I'm foolish for having chosen. But we're here. Oh, and that looks really cool so far. I've always seeing how people do animations, to be honest. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure how to go about this because it's uh, six seconds um, and it's really complicated because I'm doing a character because um, for some reason my teachers allowed me to do a character and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm doing a character now. Character now. Um, yeah. Oops. That's, I don't want to do that. Why am I on? Move this background layer all the way to the end. What? No, stop. What's this? I'm going this way. No, don't do that. I don't want to merge. <laughs> Good lord. Okay. This is what I want to do. Okay. So I want to start getting some rough in betweens just to. I'm going to figure out the actual anatomy. Why am I blushing again? God damn it. That's not what I want either. That's also not what I want. Stop it. I clicked the wrong thing. Um, here we go. I swear I'm not clicking that. I don't know why it's going off, but whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Just getting some really rough in-betweens at the moment. Rough everything. I'm, I have a compromise with um, my teachers to do this. Um, that's that I have to 
do the anatomy before the character itself, just in case, so that I, I can actually have the animation judged if I don't get the character cleaned up, uh, basically. Uh, but at the moment I'm just doing very rough, very very rough anatomy sketches, and then once I've figured out the rough animation, I will um, go back and clean it up and then clean up again with the character instead <laughs> if I have time anyway and I will do I do need to actually zoom in um, but yeah so that's what we're doing um, I'm probably going to be doing this for the next couple weeks well that, that's how long the project goes um, but I'm probably going to be streaming a lot in the next few weeks, trying to get this done so that I actually concentrate on it properly. Because otherwise I will procrastinate it. And I will also not do it long enough every day. So if I do like three hours or so every day, or every couple of days at least. Because there are some days I can't stream. But, um, you know, if I do a few hours every day then I will probably finish it in time, I think. And that'll be the way, best way of going about it. In terms of getting me to concentrate properly. So that's pretty good for broth, I think. Um, eight. But yeah, so this is insanely rough. I get that. I've been doing writing streams recently to keep myself in gear because I know I won't write as much in my own time. Yeah, I I think that's the good thing with streaming is that um, I can... Because I'm discouraged from just getting up and walking away or getting distracted by something or doing something else, like because I'm concentrated on it, you know, I'll get a lot more done, I think. So I'll be more productive. And I can actually get shit done. <laughs> Which I especially need for this sort of project, where I have two weeks, basically, to animate this, and it's very, very complicated, and I don't know if I'd get it done otherwise. So I need to spend what time I can doing it so that I don't procrastinate. In between, like, my other stuff as well, because I have other stuff I'm trying to do, but, you know. If I do like three hours a day, like that's a pretty decent amount, I think. Or around that. Monday I probably can't do that much, but... Unless I do it in the morning, maybe. Maybe if I stream it in the morning. So I have D&D &D on Monday evenings, which is why I don't stream on Mondays usually. Um, but maybe I will try and do this in the evening. God, this is... Barely look readable. But it's fine. This is fine. It's rough. Doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just kind of vaguely figuring it out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for the first one. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, so what sort of character do you play for D&D? Um, at the moment, the campaign I'm in, um, we, it's an evil campaign, and I am a um, high elf warlock. Um, packed to the tome um, with some unique um, character elements that I'm not going to uh, talk about on stream, just in case um, other members of the party come across it. <laughs> because it's still secret stuff. Um... But, to put it bluntly, um, I have a specific level up requirement that I have to, that I agreed to, um, and I have to fulfill that to level up. Whereas the rest of the party just levels up, normally. <laughs> Which is interesting. Um, so, that's fun. I think that part I have actually, like, we have kind of revealed that in-game, so I can say that 
that much. Um, but yeah, um, his name's Viriel, um, he's an author. Um, how an author fits into an evil campaign, um, he just does. <laughs> um, don't worry about it too much. Um, and his personality can be accurately described using the three Ps, which are pompous, pretentious, prick. And he's very fun to play <laughs> because of that. It's just full sarcasm all the time. Annoy everyone else in the party. <laughs> I nearly got banished a couple of weeks ago because I got too sassy, but I counterspelled it. <laughs> and the guy who did it uh, ran out of spell slots. Which has been the only time that I've gotten to use counterspell so far. So that's an interesting um, use for it, I suppose. I also love characters like us. Snarky characters can be the best characters. Yeah, it, it's it's really fun as well because it's so out of my personality. Like, I, I'm sarcastic, but I'm not like straight up pretentious. I don't think anyway. I try not to be. I try to be like fairly nice about it. I'm just a bit sarcastic sometimes in my humor, whereas Virial's sarcastic because he's a prick. <laughs> um. Like, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, he talks like this. At this point, I can speak like this for hours because it's so easy for me to do. Just lower my voice slightly, add in a pish posh accent because I can, <laughs> and then use words that are fancy to say the least. I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> It's the first time I've actually done a consistent character voice as well, so that's fun in itself. <coughs> yeah, he is insanely fun for multiple reasons. Um, and some of those reasons I cannot talk about, um, unfortunately. Hopefully they can get revealed kind of soon so that I can talk about them because they are very, very fun. Once played a snarky Irish accent to Dampier, Draconic Sorcerer named Crow, and he was a sarcastic, so I love playing him so much. I, I think, honestly, it's really fun to play the characters that are, like, super outside of your personality. Because, like, um, I've only been playing D&D, like, the past couple of years. I'm not super experienced in it. I'm still learning a lot. Um, but the first character I had um, from the campaign I was in last year was, um, her name was Amadia. Um, she was a human fighter. She was um, very... She was controlled by her fears, basically. She had three major phobias, so she was aquaphobic, halfophobic, and mysophobic. Um, and all of them kind of controlled her, but her thing was like, when she got super freaked out, she'd get more violent about it. Um, <coughs> but she was super awkward. Um, I mean, she was fun. Uh, she used a mop to fight, <laughs> which was surprisingly good, actually. Um, it worked out quite well. Um, but yeah, uh, she was interesting, but like, she was, I kind of used her as a bit of a crutch to get into the role-playing aspect, because I was myself pretty awkward, and I'm, I'm still pretty awkward, but I'm trying to like, get out of that now, which, I mean, streaming helps, um, but um, yeah, so I was kind of using that because I like, didn't know what to say a lot of the time, I've tried to role-play, but I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> still inexperienced, but it's fair now. Virial can be quiet still, but like, I I find it easier to figure out how he would react to stuff because like, where is my next opportunity to say something? Like, just when is my next opportunity to be a sarcastic prick? Basically. <laughs> um. Hmm. So yeah, he's fun. Um. I also 
there was a mini campaign in between these two campaigns, um, and I had a character called Norn. Um, he was a changeling wizard and, and a phantom thief. Um, and he was really, really, or th they were really overdramatic. Um, <laughs> they were absolutely ridiculous. They were super, really out of my personality, so I actually struggled playing with them, but they were also really, really fun and quite hilarious as well. For example, um, there was one point where um, they, the group found a room in this uh, spire sort of thing that they were exploring um, <laughs> and they and their companion who was a tabaxi called Left um, they went into that room and started messing about by turning into a really really scary scarred up butcher looking like insane butcher looking dragonborn and laughing maniacally and pretending, like, kept making an illusion on the table of a dead body. Which ended up with one of the other players throwing an axe at them. And hitting them square in the chest. <laughs> because they failed, like, the insight check. <laughs> really dramatically. <laughs> and of course, um, they weren't actually hurt that badly because they were, like, pretty high level. They were, like, a level 11, I think. Um... <laughs> So it didn't actually hurt them that much, but they were still super dramatic and basically pretended they were dying. So that was pretty funny. Um, I really miss playing Norn. So it was, it was like three or four sessions or something, so we didn't actually get to play them a lot. Which is a shame, because it was such a good group. Um, so I really hope we can do more mini campaigns, I think, with them. Um, they were super fun as well, because just everything they did was so overdramatic. Like, the way they introduced themselves, um, they had, because they were a changeling, um, they had, like, the, um, alternate identity thing, um, and so, um, when they showed up at the tavern to meet each other for this quest, um, they showed up as, um, it was a tiefling woman, um, who was a potter, and she was very reserved, and she, she didn't really say much, she was just kind of there. And then, like, the person who called them there came along and sort of was like, Um, you must be Norin, right? And then it got super overdramatic all of a sudden. But it was like, I kind of showed hints of it while there was still this tiefling woman as well. Like, um, <laughs> they ordered wine at the tavern and then sat super dramatically to drink it. So they were sat, like, you know, like, that really dramatic, like, that sort of pose. Oh, thank you for following Paul Hideaway. Uh, they, they were sat like this, um, just drinking really dramatically. <laughs> it was so stupid, but it was so perfect, and I loved them so much. It's really bad, but... <laughs> like, they were just sat like this, which was totally different from the personality that they had acted before. <laughs> it was just little things like that. Oh my god, they were so good. I really, I really hope we can play more mini campaigns with those characters because they were just so good. <laughs> they were just so perfect. Oh my god. Mm, that's, that arm isn't consistent at all. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, they, they were just amazing. Um, but unfortunately I only got like a few sessions to play them. Unfortunately. But I squeezed in as much drama as possible, including like in the- I, rem I remember in the last part, um, when we were pushing, finishing up, they got hit with something in like the final fight, um, like square in the ribs and it broke their ribs. <laughs> um, like audibly broke their ribs. And then, despite having literal broken ribs, um, like really badly, um, they like- they, everyone had to basically jump out of this tower because it was like in the air 
and it was about to explode. So they had to, like, jump out. And luckily, like, a few of us had fed or fallen, so it was fine. But, of course, Norn being Norn, um, despite literally having broken ribs, like, turned backwards. He, they were, like, the first to do it, I think. Um, turned backwards to look at everyone else and then just leapt. Just slowly fell out backwards. And then cats fed are falling on the way down like a dramatic bitch. That's great. Thank you for following Beach of Thirteen. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it was great. Um, God, I want to play them more. I hope to God I can play them more at some point. Maybe I can shove them in something. I don't know. They're just so good. Uh, so let's choose the next key frame. Or not, not key frame, but in between frames. Um. What other characters have I had? Um, <laughs> well, they were great, honestly. Right, let's go. There we go. I swear to God, I'm not pressing that. Hello, 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 Mage Armor. No. Dramatic, even with broken ribs, town stand. Yeah, also bear in mind that they had also earlier been. Like, they, they had earlier had a chest. had an axe in their chest as well. <laughs> So like, although that was probably healed by that point, but <laughs> but the thing was, they were super dramatic, but they also had maxed out intelligence, so <laughs> they were like incredibly smart. They were just, you know, they knew what they were doing, but they just wanted to play around as well. It was great. Um, they were a phantom thief, and their whole thing was basically like, <coughs> basically everyone in the group had to have like a level of fame for being like an adventure or something so um, i decided like norin i think i never really decided on like a set age um like they were kind of supposed to be kind of young so i basically made it like their family because they were changelings um their family was uh taking this identity as bleak like throughout generations and like it was basically like bleak like 140 years ago or something was like kind of subtle they weren't as phantom thiefy um but they would like steal artifacts and then sometimes return them sometimes wouldn't because it basically they were like checking the safety of it essentially um to make sure it wasn't dangerous um <coughs> and so yeah, Bleak was like originally kind of quiet, Bleak being the phantom thief name um, in the family. Um, and then they kind of disappeared for like a hundred years or something because like the family just wasn't really doing much um, as of them. And then Norin came along, came of age, took up the mantle of Bleak and started being super dramatic and making full on performances out of it. <laughs> and became really, really famous because of that. So it was like the whole thing of like, oh my god, Blake's dead. Wait a minute. No, he's not. What? <laughs> um, they, they were 10 out of 10. And I really want to play them again. It's just so fun. Um, they're just so ridiculous as well. Um, what's another character I had? Um, I was in a 24 hour death trap dungeon at one point last year before, not last year, the year before last actually, I think. When was it? Yeah, I think it was the year before last. Um, but we, yeah, there, there was a death trap dungeon which was before COVID anyway, an annual event that the role-playing society I'm in um, did, basically to fundraise and stuff. Um, and it was 24 hours long so you'd go in at 10 a.m. Um, on the Saturday and then you'd leave at 10 a.m. the next day and you'd have to be up the whole time through it um <coughs> well you, you could go home early if you wanted to but it was like it was like a challenge to get through you know all the way um which led to some insane sleep deprived antics among the groups um yeah. <laughs> um, like, I had a friend who started eating a banana hole. I have videos of that. 
it was an experience. Um, but yeah, I during that, I think it was my second character. So I, I went through th three characters throughout it. Um, so my first character was um, a half-elf warlock, um, and his main thing was that he was such a he he was basically rejected from his family. He was from like a rich family, but he got kicked out because he was um, oh what's the word? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, basically, he was a prolific liar, and there was like rumors about him that um, he his lies were so convincing that he could even raise the dead. But he, he didn't actually know any necromancy because he was too low level <laughs> um, to get any of that stuff but you know um, yeah um, he died rather interestingly go go but I'll try to be back later if the stream's still going okay um, that's no problem but, um, yeah um, his name was Ederal and he died because he ate his own chili. It was Death Trap Dungeon, so everyone died like super easily. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so basically, they, the group had to make chili, and like the judges would eat it, but they also had to eat it. Um, <coughs> which wasn't told to us beforehand, but it led to the f hilarious thing of um, he made his curry with or his chili even, with uh, every kind of pepper available, 24 ghost peppers, and 7 whole lemons. Not cut up or anything, just whole lemons. <laughs> um, which was... Yeah. That happened. Um, so he had to make a constitution check of... Um, 120. <laughs> um, and failed it, obviously. Um, at level 7. With... I don't even know how you would pass a constitution check that high, but... Do you know? Let's fix these hands. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't even fucking know how you pass that. Yeah, um, I rolled in that 20 and died instantly. <laughs> um, and then my second character. My second one was the good one. Um, her name was Kazia. Um, she was a tiefling bard. Um, and um, she... Yeah, um... I don't remember what college she was, but, um, she was a tiefling bard, anyway, um, and, uh, she was deceptively kind, um, like, she basically introduced herself, uh, asking someone to not murder a puppy, but, um, her background was, oh, what's it called? What's it called? Charlatan. She was a charlatan. Um, <laughs> um, that was her background, but she was deceptively kind, and no one knew about this. And her alignment the whole time was neutral evil. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so um, it basically ended up being that. Um, oh god, um, I think how to explain this, basically. Um, so what happened was, she was kind of like a first little bit, and I was kind of planning on having a turn at some point, if possible, but what happened was I had to make a wisdom check at some point, um, because basically everyone fell down a giant drain, um, and then I... She, she had, um, oh, what's it called? Um, well, she, she had one of the spells that would let you teleport, basically. Um, and so she used that to not go down the drain. Um, 
but then she just hung around while the re everyone else was fighting. And so was punishment while every turn I was up there and had to make a wisdom check. Um, and it, I, I got lucky like the first three, few times and then eventually I failed one. Because that's going to happen if you stay up there. Um, and then what happened was the DM passed me a note in secret um, that basically said, um, you've now decided that you really, really want to kill someone. Which is like, not super out of her personality, specifically. Um, because of her alignment and stuff. So I was just like, okay, that's fine. Cool. Um, and so, she then basically dove down the drain. Um, Yeah, she, so she, um, she started playing her flute, she was playing her flute while she was up there, and then she eventually stopped and dove down the drain, and then, uh, cast, I think it was third level, um, Thunderbolt, when she hit the water, and killed three people, um, three enemies, and unfortunately none of the other teammates, but, you know, shame, but whatever. <laughs> um... And, yeah, then she had to, like, super sad, and, like, everyone, because she was so nice, kind of, everyone kind of assumed, like, oh, she's probably sad, like, because she just killed three people, but it was actually because she didn't kill more than three people. Um, she was hoping to kill more, um, because, yeah, um, and then later, we went through, like, a corridor of mirrors or something, and... We all had to make more wisdom checks, and she, or if we, if we looked in a mirror, we had to make wisdom checks, and I failed mine, and so, um, basically, I got switched around with my evil reflection, and then I just kind of looked at the DM like, um, but I was already evil. How? <laughs> and then, so he took the note back, and then he gave me, um, the eye of back now. Which I think he would soon realize was a big mistake <laughs> to give me. Um, cause, yeah, I used it. I definitely used it. <laughs> ah, that's a weird noise. That's not a great noise. Um, yeah, so I immediately used it for evil, of course. And basically what happened was um, the group was trying to figure out how to open a pothole from below, basically. Um, so they could get up. And while they were concentrating on that, because they weren't looking, I was like, oh, I'll attune to the Eye of Vecna now, because no one's paying attention. Um, so I did that. Um, and then... <laughs> um, I started messing with everyone while they were trying to fight. Um, trying to kill them. Of course. Because why one time? But I was doing it like subtly between the DM and I. So I would, I would um decide my actions, um, in notes and send them to the DM, give them to the DM, and then um, I would leave a couple of actions left, um, and then I would use those actions I had left to. Like, do normal player things. Um, meanwhile, I was trying to kill someone in the party during the fight. Um, and basically, like, this area had, like, the fight was between us, or quote unquote us, and um, there was, like, a bunch of animals that are, like, lions and stuff. And one of the things I Vecna gives you is, um, control monster. Um, so I used that, of course. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I started controlling one of the lions um, and attacking someone under the cover of um, darkness because I of Vecna also gives you true sight. Um, and I also tried to disintegrate them but failed at that one, um, unfortunately. Um, and then I accidentally lost concentration on Eye of Darkness. I, I nearly killed this guy but um, he got healed, unfortunately. He 
I think he made his, um, death save or something. Or, like, someone stabilized him. And then healed him, I guess. Um. But yeah, like, someone did that. Grr. And, um, I lost concentration on, uh, the darkness spear thing. Um. And so, yeah, I made up, like, a lie of, like, oh, the reason why I didn't help you is because, um, like, I couldn't see you because you were- it, because of the darkness. Like, I couldn't see where you were. Um, so I couldn't help you. <coughs> um, and I rolled, like, a 19 on the deception check. And then, in all of the odds, out of all the fucking odds, um, the person that I was trying to kill rolled an tw a natural 20 on the fucking insight check. And it got found out. Because, like, the, the group knew I was up to something out of character, just not in character. Um, but, like, so they figured out I was doing something out of character, or in character even, by that point. Which was fun. Always love that. Love that for me. Um, yeah. And I was basically caught because of that. Fun. Great. Love it. Um, but yeah. Um, and then they basically, um, they asked for... Well, first of all, like, I held- there was a character near me, so I basically held them hostage using Disintegrate, um, with the held action of, like, if anyone comes near me, I'll disintegrate them, or, like, this person. Like, whatever is easier. Um, just I'll disintegrate someone, you know? Um, <laughs> I, I don't remember what my exact wording was, but it was like, I'll just disintegrate anyone who comes near. Coolio. Or this person, depending on what's frequent. I think it was actually specifically, like, I'll disintegrate the nearest person to me. And what happened was, there was another character who also got, um, replaced with their evil reflection. Um, and so this character started trying to attack me, and so I disintegrated him. <laughs> Just instantly killed him. Um, and so the group was like, oh, we can't fight against that, but they probably could have, because I didn't actually have that many I did not have enough spell slots to um, fight them all off, <laughs> basically. Um, unless I somehow had managed, would manage to um, succeed in disintegrate on every single person, I would not have been able to keep up with them at all. Um, I wouldn't have been able to fight them. But um, they were like, "Oh, she's far too dangerous." So. Um, the Death Rat Dungeon basically had like a system where if you stabbed out your eye, um, you could call for help and you could ask for help with anything, basically. Um, except for getting out of the dungeon, obviously. Um, and so there was a, um, what are they called? Um, I can't remember what the hell they're called, but like, uh, this character only had one eye. It was, um, one of the construct war machine things. I do not remember what they're called at the moment. Um, but yeah, like, they called for help, um, and they only had one eye. So they stabbed out their one eye, um, <coughs> and called for help and asked them to petrify me, and they did. <laughs> I failed to check to, or I failed to save for that, so I got petrified, and then they kicked my head off. You know, as they do. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, I was dead. I died. But on the bright side, the character that called for help, who stabbed out their eye, um, was the character I was trying to kill in the first place. Um, <laughs> and they ended up staying behind because they couldn't really do anything when they didn't have any eyes. They were completely blind. So they just stayed behind and they were like, yeah, I mean, 
So basically, I still did exactly what I wanted to them. <laughs> I, I still got what I wanted in character, which is cool. This is super messy, it's like barely clear, but it's fine, it's fine. It's just rough planning. But yeah, um, that was the tale of Kazia. It was super fun, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason why my current DM um, decided to let me join the evil campaign among all the newbies. <laughs> or mostly newbies, anyway. There were some older uh, people in the group. Who, or people who were, were already in the um, society. Like, yeah, I think that's the reason why he let me join. <laughs> because I was able... Because the thing was, I was planning all of that in real time. Which, I actually impressed myself with that. I was really surprised, actually, that I managed to do that. Um, I did not know I could think that fast. And with that complex of plot. Um, I think specifically it was because there was one action I did um, behind everyone's backs to him which was um, particularly cruel um, where it was like I thought I was um, gonna kill that character in that turn I didn't so it never ended up happening but he still got the description of the action which was um, I command one of the lions to uh, chew on his dead body like a sad, sad chew toy. <laughs> and he, I remember he looked at me. He, he just looked up at me and was like, What the fuck? <laughs> what? He, he was like, I feel like I should be worried. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that was how, um, I, because everyone in my, um, normal campaign group at the time, um, was in that group, um, everyone knew about it, and so I kind of, um, they kind of realized, oh, uh, they kind of have a, um, more sadistic sense of humor than we thought. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they found out that, and the DM, I remember the next day, because we had our normal session the next day as well, uh, greeted me by saying, well, if it isn't my favorite little, um, homicidal maniac, it was just like, hi, <laughs> hello, I guess that's why I am now, <laughs> cool, <laughs> great, great reputation to have in a university. <laughs> Um, so, you know, that's fun. Um, yeah, I think that's... I, I've scared my DM a few times with this sort of thing. Because, <laughs> um... Oh, I can't even talk about that, actually. But, um, it, it's happened more. Um, it's definitely happened a few more times where I've... Um, done a, usually a secret action that he's just been like, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> and just, I think I'm starting to genuinely worry him, but it's just like, I don't know man, I just enjoy this sadistic shit in character, okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. It's so nice just going and animating it when it's so rough, like I'm not worrying about it at all. Not worried, just going along with it. I really need a drink though. <laughs> I need something in... No, I'm not gonna complete that sentence. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> I really wish it would stop hugging my... Um... Emotion. Just every time I... No, it's not every time I control Z. I don't know why it's doing that. 
I don't know why it keeps triggering my flush animation. Or not animation, but. Oh, uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's just visibly wrong. Is that there? I don't know. Gosh, I'm not, I know why. Okay. That's fine. Never mind. That's fine. <coughs> it's nice animating and not having to only think about the animation where I can just go. I can do that um, somehow. Right? There's a way to mark keyframes. I'm sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Surely there is, right? Uh, is there not? to this next one. This is where we are now. That's actually pretty decent progress, I think. Serious. Even though it's just rough, but... It is a little, the one thing is it's, because it's so rough it is a little bit difficult to see what I'm trying to do, but it's fine for now, I'll figure it out in more detail later, I just want the rough motion. the music. I've been listening to this for a couple of, eh, couple of hours now. Maybe I'll change it. Let's see. Um. We'll see. Can I be bothered to change it? I don't know. It's like a whole thing. It's like a whole other thing you gotta do when I could just zoom through this. Because I want to get like the rough stuff out of the way today. It's the rough blocked out stuff. So I can start cleaning up. Because then I'll be able to actually... I'm more likely to finish it that way. So if I can 
definitely not clean up, but if I can get the rough motion of like the shapes, the rough shapes, and I think that'll be good. I think that'll be really good progress for today. I can go to bed, and or, well, I can practice Italian and then go to bed. Even though I've practiced a lot of t Italian today, but I can practice more Italian. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time on that the past few days, actually. <laughs> I think this is a good way to go about animating it. I'm not really used to animating like really big things or big complex things because I'm still only in my first year of animation. So I think this is a good way of going about it. Just kind of roughly figuring it out. It's like vaguely. I think this is what I got told to do. Um, I think it's pretty decent progress so far. If I can clean it up, that'll be really good for Monday. Or even if I don't clean it up for Monday, this will be pretty good progress, I think. I don't really care if this stream gets muted later, so I mean, maybe I'll just hop on a playlist or something, code void or something maybe. If I get muted, I get muted. <laughs> it doesn't really matter with this one. It's just me vibing, basically, and doing stuff. This is pretty good so far. It's shaky, but it's fine because it's so rough. It's so, so very rough. Six. Six. Oh god, it's so sketchy it's kind of hard to see actually. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's okay. got a notification for a recommended tweet and all I could see from it was ah wait I think it was from uh, Kiara <laughs> from <a> whole life <laughs> it was just her screaming I think it was because of um she was tweeting earlier about um 
what was it? Uh, Tales of... Uh, the new Tales of the Doom, but anyway, they released like a trailer or something. <laughs> she was screaming about it. I think I saw them earlier. <laughs> I just got the uh, notifications for it I, for some reason. It's like the recommended tweet sort of thing. It's like... So all I saw at the corner of my eye was just, ah! <laughs> it's just like, okay. Okay, buddy. You good? I don't think she is. Now I have to put my voice up I wish I could do like a karaoke stream or something again, but <coughs> that. <laughs> My cough um, kind of stops me from doing that. And also, because I have all this shit to do, and also because I'm at my parents' house. <laughs> so, um, my flatmate doesn't mind karaoke streams. I mean, she. They uh, joined in my last one. Um. <laughs> so it was in my birthday stream. Um. Like, they do not mind. Um, God, I miss being back in my flat. Why am I blushing again? God damn it. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm clicking that makes it do that. Probably save. That's an idea. <coughs> yeah, I probably should have named this something better so that I don't have to change the name later, but whatever, I'm gonna need to change it anyway. Just date it. Assuming they're wanting the file name conventions that they have all of this year. So I'll deal with that later. It's fine. Whatever. James Baxter thinks says that you shouldn't check it back until it's finished, but I'm doing it anyway. That was pretty good so far. <coughs> Real good progress. What am I thinking? Look at that. Probably because I'm playing the animation. <laughs> That's probably why. Okay. So 114 then. Oh wow, it's so unclear now. So rough. I think I'm gonna go until I finish um, this rough animation, I think. And maybe chat a little after. I don't know. 
depends what time it is. Where am I glitching again? I, don't, I actually don't know what, why that's happening. Jeez. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet and concentrating. <laughs> this is the stuff where I kind of have to think a bit more now. Just these sort of things in particular. It's kind of funny to think how, like, this time last year I would have gone straight into animating the character. <laughs> Even a few couple months ago, I went straight into animating the character, and I'm just I'm being smart about it. Just, hmm, figure out the motion first, so that I don't actually kill myself. <laughs> Trying to figure it out as I go. Um, sixteen. So it's like, oh boy. Hi, hello. So, um, scary woman that I haven't fit into the frame yet. Or if I will, it's gonna be very, very. I'm not animating her. <laughs> um. Dear Lord, no, I'm not um, animating her as well. Um, not my problem. <laughs> um, just him. No, not there. No, I'm trying to spray. Oh my god, I'm blushing it. What the hell? I don't actually know what's causing that. Stop blushing, I don't want to blush. Click off, come on. Thank you. Okay, that's really weird, actually. For some reason... Huh. Did I... No, that doesn't do it. That's really weird. Well... Huh. I don't know what that's about. I actually have no clue. <coughs> Should be my, um... Shortcuts. Okay. Uh, so that again. Readjust. C. 
for you, let's see. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I wasn't so sure about holding the frame for that long, but that was pretty nice, I think. Yeah, I might need like a little extra movement or something there. Feels like it starts kind of suddenly. Hmm. Well, actually, that's, that's okay, I think. Yeah, I think to reduce the movement. So I want to plot it again here. And then 136. Yeah. And a blushing gap. Well done. I think I know why. So one of my shortcuts is um, shift K, I think. Yeah, it's shift K, um, and that's to make the new frame, it's also to clear a frame. Um, and I also obviously have control Z. So one of my um, global toggles for my model is shift Z. So what's happening is I'm pressing shift K and shift and control Z so quickly that it's registering control shift K Z. And so it's also in that it's <laughs> registering shift Z as well, and that's why I'm, I keep blushing. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh, I don't want to fix that though. That's. Whatever. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> Let's not worry about it too much. his head and she's like oh no oh god oh fuck and he sees thing that you really should be worrying about here <laughs> you guys don't know maybe I'll show the storyboard um I don't know I'll figure out the other leg later when I'm doing like the full anatomy thing. So I need to show like the entire anatomy, I think. I'm being made to, which you'd think would make the workload worse, but we're not gonna think about that. Don't question it. Next time I stream myself doing this stuff, I should um, probably drink some alcohol while I'm at it. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I have a stash now. I don't know when else I'm gonna use it. So. <laughs> Runk Navi animation stream? Question <laughs> mark. Hat 
Batman is uh, not very happy about this. <laughs> As he shouldn't be, probably. Probably shouldn't be happy about his near-death experience, um, threat of violence situation. how I feel about that last bit. I feel like the ears need to go down faster. It means that they need to stay up for longer. Fairy motion, all that jazz. Probably shouldn't have thrown in the ears, but whatever. It's fine, whatever. <coughs> yeah, it's better. It's a little better, I think. It goes right down. <laughs> I think that's good. That's good progress for today. It's also exactly midnight now. <laughs> so we've gone from nothing to that. Which is very, very rough still. But still, good progress. Still quite a lot of work that is... Uh, 92, oh no, uh, hang on, how much is that? 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 rough frames. Which is pretty good, I think. Actually, quite a bit of work. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that for today. Because I've gotten to that point now, I can do so. That's all for tonight. I'm not gonna do any more. That's like nearly three hours of work <laughs> that I've done now. Um, <coughs> so definitely time for a break for the night. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll work on it some more tomorrow. Try and clean it up. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, um, tomorrow evening I'll be streaming Undertale. More Undertale. Possibly finishing the neutral route. I don't. I think so. Anyway. 
it kind of looks like I need to go back and do stuff. Still, like, I need to go buy more healing items, but that's not gonna take the whole stream. <laughs> that's gonna be very, very quick, methinks. Um, and then, moving on, I think... At least approaching the end of the neutral room. Um, I believe. So we've got into Asgore's house. So, should be about there, I think. Just about, anyway. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, maybe I'll do some more animation streaming tomorrow, um, during the afternoon or something. I don't know. Depends how I feel. Um, this is already pretty good progress for the Monday check-in, I think. But maybe I'll try and clean it up some um, tomorrow, maybe. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I might do that on or off stream if I do. I, I'll decide. <laughs> I'll figure that one out later. <coughs> um, if I do. But yeah, uh, thank you for coming along. It's, I know it's probably not the most exciting stream, because it's just staring at <laughs> where the hell I was doing for three hours there. It was kind of quiet compared to usual, but I told a few stories. Hope they were entertaining. Um, but yeah, thank you for coming along, even if it was just for a little bit. Uh, if you stuck around, cool, thank you. Um, <laughs> if not, also cool. Um, thank you for even popping in for a little bit. Um, but I'm going to go get ready for bed sort of stuff. I don't know, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so, good night. Thank you for coming. <laughs> even though it was super impromptu. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs>